right question 16 at time t between 0 and 2 the velocity of the particle moving along x-axis the given equation for the velocity of this object equals t sine of t cubed and let's say that at time t equals b some moment that the time that the particle changes direction from moving left to moving right, from left to right. They tell us what is the total distance traveled by the particle during the time interval from 0 to b. So I have to find what's b. They tell us b is changing, changing from uh, left to right. So the best idea is to graph this function graph this function here clear so x sine open parenthesis t cubed or x cubed and then close parenthesis that's our x if we graph it it will give us a strange graph you cannot like uh, find any information from it easily so the best idea is to uh, zoom box around you could like click uh, zoom click box number one and we're gonna zoom in we don't need negative numbers we need just from zero to, we have it till two. Let's let's do it till three even. Scroll down. Okay, enter, and then scroll down. Okay, and then scroll to the right. Make a box around it. Enough. And that's our graph. <laughs> okay. So we need to find where is the velocity is zero. The velocity where should be zero. So if we come here to second trace or trace it even though trace or find zeros find zeros second trace find zero or trace it here mm -hmm. to know where is the velocity is zero it's about here in here at this point about 1.8 should be less than 5 in here 1.85 you could press second trace second trace and find zeros number two and where is the zeros you scroll that's our left bounds and then scroll to the right that's our right bound guess yes here it give us accurate result which is 1.8452 that's the value of b one point so b equals 1.845 why we do that again this is the graph of the velocity not the distance and to find out uh, where the particle uh, changes from left to right, we have to find where is velocity zero. Velocity zero in this area. And here, we have to uh, click second trace and go to zeros and find out where is our zeros here. At one, so at time 1.84527, the velocity was zero and changing from left to right. 
So what we're going to do here is to, if you want to find the total distance, remember that total distance means it doesn't matter direction, positive or negative, right or left. We need to find the total distance, total distance from zero to B, which is 1.84527. That's our equation. of the given fun function absolute value must be of the given function absolute value because as said before we don't care about signs positive negative we want to find the total distance so we could replace that in our calculator <clears throat> that's our function second Insert second catalog absolute. Yes, it should be between here. Let's clear out and write again the function second catalog. Enter absolute value inside it will be uh, x instead of t sine uh, t cubed or x cubed. Uh, scroll out yeah, because we finished already that's our function close the parenthesis scroll out and if you want to graph it graph it graph it now and then we're gonna find the total distance from zero to 1.84 so we'll do that here second trace integration which is seven zero hour bound enter and then one point eight four five two seven enter to calculate the total distance from here till one point eight and the total distance here is 1.011, 1.011. So the answer is C for this question. <laughs> now we have question 88. 88. Let function f define by f of x equals one fourth x to the fourth minus two third x to the third plus a half x squared minus a half x. Here is for how many values of x the open interval from zero to one point five six five is the instantaneous rate of change of f equal to the average rate of change of f on the closed interval from zero to one point five six. So the average rate of change uh, over this interval must be f of 1.565 minus f of 0. That's over 1.565. Minus zero. Let's do that here. Uh, okay. Let's. Okay. I'll move it a little bit so we could have place for the calculator. So we need to calculate that. So we'll get the function here from uh, the calculator. Could do it differently, different methods to do that. We could type the function 0.25 or do math, it doesn't matter. So x to the fourth minus two thirds. of x to the third 
plus a half x square minus 0.5 x and we could find the value for here uh, so second trace enter for the value what value we need we're gonna like tab 1.565 yeah, it's a loss here so 1.565 so the value is negative 0.61 negative 0.61 Uh, 356 negative 0.61 negative 0.61356 minus f of 0 substitute for 0 all will be zeros divide by uh, 1.565 so we're going to divide second trace we're going to divide 1 uh, sorry, uh, negative uh, point six one three five six. We divide it by one point five six five. Enter. It gives us negative uh, point three nine around negative. Uh, 0 0.39206 zero you could write a uh, full answer here all digits and now we're gonna come up to change of the derivative of the function so the graph of uh, the derivative the graph of the derivative so come up uh, here's the derivative the function is f of x equals one fourth x to the four minus two third x to the third plus a half x squared minus a half x we're going to do the derivative so you drop four here to be x uh four times one fourth is one and this is to the third minus you drop three three cancel three then it will be two x squared and plus uh, this is x uh, minus a half. That's the derivative. So this is uh, uh, the values, the value of the rate of change, and this is the value of the derivative. So what we could do here is to uh, graph the derivative and see the uh, the solution solution which is the intersection okay so we're gonna graph that here clear and go to y equals and then we're gonna clear that we want to graph the function uh, graph graph the derivative of the function x to the third <coughs> minus 2x squared plus x minus a half a half point uh, 2 yes uh, we should submit that here uh, that's x to the third okay third and scroll to the right to write the function correct be careful to x square plus x minus 0 0.5 yeah that's perfect and the second line which is negative point three six uh, point three nine 
two zero six and we're gonna do a zoom six try to make zoom six six to grab both of them and we need to find how many intersection here how many points of intersection so zoom box enter we're about to close and it's from zero of course up here enter and scroll down to see the graph well and scroll to the right enter we'll see how many graph we have how many intersection you see we have three intersection one two three so the answer for this question is c